That's German-Russian relations. Joining me in the studio now is Igor Khakalov. He's from the Institute of World Economy and International Relations here in Moscow. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Khakalov. President Medvedev has confirmed there is an agreement on the Iranian sanctions. Very vague. How far do you think Russia is prepared to push it? Uh, actually, I don't think Russia is going to push uh, sanctions on uh, Iran because uh, um, Russia has proven to show a very prudent policy towards Iran. On one hand, uh, of course, uh, uh, Iran a nuclear program is a major concern, is a major security issue for Russia, especially for our south borders. But on the other hand, uh, we're not going to push uh, that far as the United States do, because there should be some kind of uh, balance in the region. And also, Russian policy takes into account such factor as Turkey uh, joining the, uh, the club of greater powers that want to play independent role, as we have seen in the recent uh, events with the Freedom Flotilla and um, agreement between Turkey. Turkey, Brazil, and Iran. So I think in this case, Russian approach is far more prudent. Uh, but of course, uh, Iran nuclear program is a major con concern for Russian security and for our south borders. And Russia, of course, uh, considers it fair for Iran to have a peaceful nuclear program, something, of course, the United States seems to be very wary about. Actually, yes, it's fair for any country to develop its, uh, its peace nuclear program, and Iran is no exception. But uh, on the other hand, we have to take uh, into account the situation in the whole region. Uh, there is a nuclear power in the region, defecting nuclear power, Israel, and that's one of the main reasons why Iran wants to protect itself. Of course, Iran says it's going to develop its peace nuclear program, but the very fact it wants to enrich uh, uh, uranium itself, it means there will be no uh, control over the amount of fuel they have stockpiled. Let's talk about uh, security. Medvedev is, of course, pan-European security treaty uh, proposal. He's been speaking about this since he took office, really. Um, there's been some vague responses from Sarkozy. What do you think Merkel's real response to that is? Of course, the meeting was behind closed doors. She was very vague at the news conference. How do you think Germany really sees this idea? Oh, I think basically that both Russia and uh, Germany face the same security challenges. That is uh, drug abuse, and that's uh, drugs coming from Afghanistan. Uh, that is instability in certain regions uh, in, in Europe and near Europe. But uh, we know that some European countries, for instance uh, Romania, uh, think that it's a far better idea to discuss security issues within the existing international structures, for instance the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, and they, uh, and they uh, think that uh, the, very idea, the very implementation of Medvedev's idea will decapitate NATO as a North Atlantic security organization. On the other hand, uh, Russian approach uh, seems pretty reasonable because Medvedev wants to involve not only European but also Asian European countries into the same security issue. And Medvedev um, understands pretty well, as many people in Europe do, that uh, now security is a global issue because terrorists and soft security threats as they see no borders. So there should be uh, some kind of a larger agreement. What about Medvedev and Merkel and their working relationship? Can we expect it to be as close as we saw with Putin and Schroeder? Oh, I think, um, of course, uh, personal issues matter much in, in politics. Uh, and uh, we have to understand that um, actually in relations between Medvedev and uh, between Putin and Schroeder, relations between Putin and Schroeder developed for quite a long period of time. And uh, Medvedev uh, has been taking his office for two years only. So I think uh, to a certain extent it will take certain time to develop those relations first. And second, uh, uh, Merkel uh, takes a very different approach. She has a very different view on European security issues than Schroeder did. So I think uh, maybe the relations are not as close as they used to be in the time of Putin and Schroeder partnership. Igor Harklov, a political expert at the Institute of World Economy and International Relations. Thank you very much for your analysis.